Alright, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, before I dive to this lesson, giving all honor and all glory and all praise to do to Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Wakakadash. Double honors to the great millstone, all the apostles with teachable will. Peace and salutation to the to this hopeful elect to scatter abroad. And a shalawan to the Akim that's out there pushing the word and truth and sincerity. Keep doing so, okay? And for you sincere Akwathium that's out there resting your husbands, being a pillar of rest, keep doing so, okay? All right? So this lesson is basically going over the dream that I had, man. And, you know, certain dreams you, you get, you know, can have a spiritual meaning behind it and stuff like that. And, you know, or some dreams just be flat out what they are and stuff. Basically, like, they uh clear as clear as day or what they mean and some dreams they have a, like metaphoric meanings behind them and basically um uh i had a dream basically um i was uh outside and basically um i had walked into this building or whatnot and it was a dragon or whatnot it was just i think it was probably sleeping or whatnot, it really wasn't doing anything the first day I seen it and stuff. And somehow the next day, the second day, I had went into the same building, I guess the second day in the dream. The second day I went into the dream, drag it again, and uh, basically um, the dragon uh, got active or whatnot and it just started you know just messing up stuff and basically um the dragon started breathing fire on a bunch of people and stuff started uh torching them or whatnot and basically called them yabba shimmy see 144 and uh basically the dragon started torturing them torturing them basically like evaporated them and man it was it was, it was crazy because the fire was hot man and I started running away from the dragon and stuff. And basically, I was running and stuff. And the dragon was following me and chasing me and stuff. And I had ran into a building or whatnot. It was like some kind of abandoned warehouse or whatnot. And the dragon ended up following me, following me into the warehouse and stuff. And I basically was, uh, I guess I, I had got spiritual powers to be able to jump out the way. Of the dragon breathing fire on me or whatnot, and I did it a couple times, and basically the the dragon was trying to you know kill me or whatnot and stuff like that, but I have eventually woke up from the dream or whatnot, and basically I I uh, put together like maybe that dragon is supposed to represent Esau Edom or whatnot because the scriptures reference reference him to being a, a red dragon. Okay, a serpent. Okay, and basically, um, I had uh, I, I thought about it and I meditated on it. And I was like, this got to be what this talking about. Esau Edom being that dragon and stuff like that. And basically, um, you know, it, it was it, it was it, it was a spiritual dream because hey, that dragon man it lit his fury out upon a bunch of people, man. And, you know, Jake was in there, Esau, the Edomites, you know, the low-level Edomites was included in that, that destruction and stuff. And, man, when I tell you, man, it, it was, uh, it, I think it was symbolic, you know, for, you know, Revelation, the 12th chapter in verse 12. I'm going to go ahead and get it. Now, where is the Bible at? get this second address too let me get this uh revelation 12 first it's revelation chapter 12 and verse 12 i'm gonna start at verse 9 and go to 12 and the reason it says and the dragon and the great dragon was cast out that old serpent called the devil and satan which deceived the whole world and he was cast out into the earth and his angels were cast out with him right and who is this uh old who is this great dragon, this old serpent that's deceived the whole world? It is not talking about a physical dragon, okay? It is talking about Esau Edom being that dragon, okay? Because what is uh, a serpent, a serpent in the subtile, man? Okay? Clever, okay? 
but Esau, he is clever in wickedness, okay? He deceived the whole world by deceit, okay? He, 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 uh, spread lies, okay? That's how he, that's why it says he deceived the whole world. And that's why I call him a dragon, okay? Because a dragon is a ferocious creature, okay? And in ver verse 10, and I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now is come salvation and strength in the kingdom of our power, our God, and the power of His, a power of His uh, Hamashiach. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God, before Yahweh, day and night. Right. So, a hey, the accuser of our brethren is Esau Edom. Okay, because Esau Edom he tried to find ways to condemn us, man, or uh, to rat us out to the heavenly Father. When he the main culprit of uh, forcing Jake, Jake to go off, man, okay? He'll literally put stuff in your face and make you do it and say, and basically complain to the Heavenly Father or say to the Heavenly Father, look what your people doing. You see that they eating crab, lobster, and shrimp when he the main culprit of why our people eat it, man, okay? Because he was forcing our people to eat it. Literally uh, shoving it, uh, ch chiseling away uh, Israelites' teeth and putting a um, a funnel in their mouth and making them uh, eat uh, swine, man. Okay. And then when uh, Jake, the prisoners was locked up, they was forced. They was feeding them uh, crab lobster, uh, crab man, crab legs, man. Okay. All right. But continue on, verse eleven. And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto death. Verse 12 is the point. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. And for the devil has come down unto you having great wrath. Because he knoweth that he have but a short time. Right. And that dragon in that dream. I, I solely believe that it was supposed to represent Esau Edom. Because it was red too. Okay. It, is a, it was a red dragon. Okay. And if I can show a picture of uh, what it kind of looked like. Uh, bear with me. Bear with me. It somewhat looked like this. It was a red dragon. Okay. It was a red dragon. Okay. And and it was it just started raining wrath upon everybody, man. Okay. And that's why you know that scripture says, <clears throat> uh, "Rejoice ye heavens, because." Rejoice ye heavens because the devil uh because the devil cometh down with great wrath, man. Roughly paraphrase, I'm gonna reread it. It says, Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell with so like people wanna drive slow on that damn highway and shit, man. I don't get that shit. So like you, man. But anyways, it says, Therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them, woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he have a short time right and this devil man he's gonna come down with great wrath because he knoweth that he have a short time he gonna try to hey, he gonna be doing a lot of killing man okay ultimately this gonna be a lot of judgment going out but hey this hey the lord's gonna show y'all who the hell the devil is man okay and he 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 your uh he he in your face every single day man lying being the damn devil he is man okay all right that's it on that now let's get the uh, book of proverbs chapter 16 okay book of proverbs chapter 16 reason says verse 4 and reason says <clears throat> the lord had made all things for himself yea even the wicked for the day of evil right Hey, the Lord made these damn Edomites for the day of evil, man. The day of uh, destruction, man. Okay? As in, hey, Jacob's trouble, man. Okay? That great wrath, man. Okay? Because, hey, the Lord going put to put that spirit on these damn Edomites to, to go ham on Jake, man. Okay? Those that not of the elect, man. Okay? Because, hey, tch, don't think for a second that, hey, the Lord not going to defend his people, man. He going to defend the elect of his people. He not going to do, he, hey, he going to leave you damn two-thirds out there to dry, man. Okay? Out there to die, man. Okay? But that's it on that. Let's go ahead and get the second address. Let's go ahead and get this, um, 
yeah, let's go ahead and get the second Ezra's, the 16th chapter and verse um, 70 or 68. The second Ezra chapter 68, I mean, chapter 16, verse 68, and the reason it says, For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you, and they shall take away certain of you, feed you being idle things offered unto idols. Right, that burning wrath. Basically talking about Esau Edom when he coming in, coming in like a flood, man. Okay. Sparing none, okay. And verse 69, and the reason it says, <clears throat> and they shall con and they that consent unto them shall have be had in derision and reproach and tried it underfoot for there shall be in every place in the next city a great insurrection upon those that fear the lord right and ultimately hey esau he gonna be trying to take out the elect man okay because hey why because he knoweth that he have a short time okay and that's why that dragon man it it, hey, the, hey, the previous day and didn't do nothing. The second day, it got active, man, and started killing a bunch of people, man. Okay. And hey, that's that symbolic for you know Esau Edom when he coming down with great wrath, man. Okay. Verse uh, seventy one. And reason it says, uh, yeah, verse seventy one. And the reason it says, they shall be like madmen, sparing none. Right in that dream, man. That dragon, hey, that dragon wasn't sparing none man okay wasn't sparing none anybody that was caught in that fire man it was like they was gone you know it didn't spare none man okay and that's how esau edom gonna be man okay he ain't gonna be sparing none in that day man okay he just gonna let people have it man okay even his own kind man okay because hey he's hey he's gonna show his horns man okay even his own people gonna be taken out in the way of uh, his uh, destruction, man. Okay, because hey, this devil, hey, he 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 believes in collateral damage, man. Okay, because something happens to a hey, his own kind, he ain't gonna care. Okay, uh, continue on, and it says they shall be like madmen, sparing none, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. Right, so hey. Expect this, man. Okay, this is coming soon, man. Hey, these Edomites, man. Hey, they going they ain't gonna be sparing none, man. They ain't gonna be sparing men, women, or children, old or young, man. Okay, cause age. Hey, this is prophecy, man. Okay, this is prophecy. All right, cause at the end of the day, man. Hey, hey this this it's the Lord's movie, man. Okay, cause hey, uh, uh, Jeremiah thirty and seven, man. Okay. The time of uh, last, the day is great. Uh, the time of Jacob's trouble, and he shall be saved out of it. Okay, because hey, this shit is gonna get bad, man. Okay, it's going to get bad. They already talking about getting rid of cash, uh, December the thirteenth, man. Okay, they already talking about getting rid of cash, December the thirteenth. So hey, things gonna drastically change, man. Okay, the 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 life that you people so called think that you have, man, it's going to change, man. Okay, it ain't gonna be the same no more, man. So with that, man, Lord willing, this less edifying to next time to this video. Come, uh, giving our honor and our glory and our praises to Yahweh by Shimi Abishai. To next time to the video, Shalom.